Hey everybody, welcome back to Fearsome Reactions. If you don't know who we are, Danny, daughter, mama, Dawn. I uh, want to give a huge shout out to our patrons. Thank you so much for supporting our channel. We are striving so hard to improve and thanks to you guys, we can do that. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Tonight we are going to be continuing with our Dilbert series. We are on season two, episode 12, entitled the entitled Virtual Employee. Mm -hmm. um, since it doesn't uh, follow a storyline, each episode's different. I'm assuming it's about a virtual employee. I mean, the, the title is, you know, the name is in the mm -hmm. description. Description's in the name, is what I'm trying to say. Um, so we'll just jump right into it. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Set? Here we go. Enjoy. How did I end up with all this obsolete equipment? It seems to multiply. Uh, 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 not in the recycling container. Recycling container? I thought it was my garbage can. No, it's a recycling container. No obsolete equipment, no food, no toenail clippings, no Ew. dead animals. Your new computer just arrived. Everything you owned this morning is junk. Thank you, Ashok. And here's a modem for your troubles. What can I do with a 2400 BPS modem? You can try to throw it away, but you need to know a secret phone number. I think it has a nine in it. Oh so you have God, seen the secret idiot. number. No, but a lot of your unknown phone numbers have nines in them. Obsolete oh, equipment isn't officially garbage until you call that phone number and they take it off our books. I hear everyone is dumping their obsolete equipment in here. No, Who no. told you that? They didn't give me their names. Why can't you be more like Wally? He's a problem solver. Really? But I depend on other people to be working. It's like a delicate ecosystem. You can't have all rabbits or all foxes. You need some of both. And to think I emigrated here for the wide open spaces alluded to in folk songs and travel brochures. Oh my gosh. Never have I felt so betrayed. Somewhere in the uncharted depths of this almost criminally mismanaged company, there's got to be some extra space. Uh, excuse me, can I talk now? Yes! Of course. Excuse us. So sorry. They tell a story in the men's room of an unused cubicle. Empty, glistening, pristine. It shines under the fluorescent lights like a beacon of hope to those seeking extra storage space. You are crazy, young man who takes really bad care of himself. That is crazy talk. You crazy, am I, intern? Well, grab your crap and follow me. Ah! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ew. Oh. Why did I do that? I guess I am crazy after all. Crazy and unable to walk. Oh, oh my gosh. Good call. It looks like there could be an unused cubicle just around the next bend. Oh, it's big. Too. Could it be? Zeke was right. The legends of the empty cubicle are true. It's pristine. We've gone in a circle. How could you not know there was an empty cubicle right next to you? Oh my God. I never had a reason to go in that direction. The important thing is that we found an empty cubicle. Shush, keep it down. Be quiet. If he is not silenced, the secret of this precious cube will be revealed. <laughs> what the heck? The vacant cubicle? No. no. Uh -uh. Marketing could sure use the space for uh, marketing stuff. It's ours. You know the rules. Empty cubicles are up for grabs. It's not empty. It belongs to, uh, the new guy. His name is, uh... Todd! And he's a new guy. Which explains why he's not here yet. Uh, being new and all. Oh, right, right. Todd. T-O-D-D. -D. <laughs> Your enunciation leaves a lot to be desired. Oh, so you I thought you said Todd. Todd. We did. Well, if you had just said Todd in the first place, we wouldn't be having this conversation. He did. I apologize for our oversight. The name Todd. From my mind, where I come up with everything I think and say, <sighs> well, that's the last load of my obsolete equipment. It looks just like someone works here. I had a nameplate made. Very nice. Is Todd in there? Todd! Todd! Where the heck are you, you devil? Everyone in marketing is talking about him. I hear he's amazing. I just had to meet him in person. Todd is away. 
on important business. Well, how he does it all. Oh my <gasps> God, look at all of this. The man must be some sort of engineering genius. Why can't you two have this much equipment in your cubicles? It's not really the quantity of the equipment that matters. All in agreement. On what? Haven't you been paying attention? Paying attention? You just walked in here, sat down, and said, and on that I think we're all in agreement. You're saying you don't agree? It's a difficult point to argue. Well, you should all thank Todd. I don't fire y'all on the spot. Great. Now Todd is our project leader. That means we have to do his work plus our own work. Plus my work. Plus Wally's work, as usual. That's a lot of work. But if we reveal Todd's non-existence, we lose our spare cubicle. There's no way out. What would Todd do in a situation like this? There is no Todd. We made him up. I'm not so sure. He has a cubicle and a job. That's all I have, and I exist. You don't exist. I'm probably a bad example. For lunch break today. He's oh alive. He's project head. It's in Todd's hands now. <laughs> Uh-oh. This could only mean one thing. Mr. Catbert, Director of Human Resources. Curiously empty. No photo, no work history. Very, very suspicious. Uh, Todd works in mysterious ways. He won't work at all if his file doesn't turn up soon. You see, I don't believe in Todd. There is no Todd. Todd exists only in your minds. Oh, Where's your Todd now? <laughs> Bert, you're evil. We need to give Todd a history and throw Catbird off the scent. I'll morph our pictures and make Todd in our oh image. Oh my gosh. We have seen the face of Todd, and he is us. We can punish them arbitrarily. We can do that? We can if we make it look like a policy. The new policy is that all work groups must have a proper distribution of performance ratings. At least 20% of your employees must be ranked in the lowest rating. You mean unsatisfactory? Lower. Incompetent? Lower, lower. You mean... Exactly. Can you give me a hint? Wally, I had to lower your performance rating from a solid good to our lowest rating, which is retard. <gasps> oh. Retard? I oh, no. know it sounds oh, harsh, no. perhaps even politically incorrect. But our new policy is to have a normal distribution of performance reviews, and with Todd taking the top spot, well, it just wrecked the curve for the rest of you. I guess I'll get used to it. You oh. will. But you'll do it somewhere else. It's company policy that I fire anyone who is at the lowest rating. We'll keep in touch. We will? No. I just say it to reduce the awkwardness. Well, so long. I'm a free man. This isn't right. If we hadn't created Todd, Wally would still have his job. And we wouldn't have to be doing Todd's work plus our own. Todd must die. This does seem justified. <gasps> How do we kill someone who doesn't exist? Indirectly. We'll ruin his reputation. What's the worst product idea in the world? How about that facelift in a can product we introduced about five years ago? The one that shrunk your head to the size of a grapefruit. Perfect. Oh Todd is going to suggest reintroducing facelift in a can. <laughs> what if it makes my head tiny for the rest of my life? Shaw, piercing is so passe. Shrunken heads is in. Do me first. Oh my gosh! Whoa. Unbelievable! I'm dumbfounded! And flummoxed! And. Thursday! Well, I guess that's the end of Todd. <laughs> yep, or it would be if it wasn't for the fact that it's the biggest success the company's ever had. We have 100% market share and first week sales of $1 billion, which oh I gosh. have it on good Everyone authority is head. more Three. than a million and less than a skillion. Oh no! That can't be right. Apparently, head shrinking is the new in thing kids enjoy doing to themselves to shock their parents. If I was 30 pounds lighter and 30 years younger and 30% stronger and uh, uh, Just stop, dude. 30 times taller, I'd pop you one. 
Don't answer it. But I can't stand a ringing phone! Deal with it, Howard. This is the only way. If we don't answer his phone or his email, if we don't reschedule his appointments and stop juggling his calendar, if we don't do any of his errands or his work, then Todd will return to the nothingness from which he came. Why are you all loitering in Todd's cube? We were just waiting for him to return. Well, when he does, tell him to pack his stuff. Why? Is he fired? Oh, <laughs> no, no, I should say not. He's getting a corner office. I've been at this lousy company for ten years, and I'm still in a cubicle. And he gets a corner office? That's it. It's over. Here, take them away, boys. These are them what killed Tom. <gasps> what? It's all a big mistake. Oh, there God. is no Todd. Certainly be a tale of woe. You have no physical evidence of a crime, so you can only convict us if one of us rats out the others. And since we're all aware of that fact, no one will rat out anyone. And we'll be free in oh, a matter of minutes. Let somebody out. It was all Dilbert. I told him not to chop the body. <laughs> oh, Alice. He insisted. He has always been evil. I felt it. But I never knew how evil until he would not stop plunging that fork into Todd's body. I stopped counting at 100. Oh, God. Hello, Dilbert. A shock! May I have that ice cream sandwich you promised me now? <laughs> all I wanted was some extra cubicle space. That's all I wanted. Hello? Yes, this is Todd. Todd? How do we know it's Todd? How do we know this is not an act? An act of Todd? Is Todd's word not good enough for you? Sorry. Now listen carefully. I'm working on a top secret project for the government. All I can say is it uh, has something to do with the government and it's a secret. You lucked out, Judas. Dilbert. You're free to go. And you can thank Tad. Oh, I will. I will. How'd I do? Not well. But it doesn't matter. People want to believe Todd exists. Maybe I'll try a limp. Oh, jeez. Going away for the one You realize exists. Todd's now a billionaire. And a Nobel Prize winner. Don't forget the special law they passed that allows him to be a bigamist. That was a coup. Uh, I just saw Todd. You're just drunk. <laughs> <coughs> what do you think about that? What do you think about the non-existent Todd episode? I liked it. It was cute. I thought they were going to have like actually virtual assistant someone that would come through like the speakers or the computer or something <laughs> right but no and then they just make him up and then everyone just believes he's this great he's guy a real person people will believe anything yeah i swear while he was homeless for a split second dilbert was accused of murder for everyone turned i didn't i had forgot that while he became homeless before that i didn't think those other two were gonna turn on him like that Alice. at least dogbert came through he kind of likes him yeah, Dogbert has his back, even though he's a little turd to him. I he's, think he's the only one that can be, like, mean to him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? In that sense. So, no, that was it. That was a good episode. Not the funniest episode I'd seen, so I'd give it, like, a one and a half. I just like it anyway. So but, I mean, it was still a good episode, so what would you give it? I don't know. One and a half, two. Well, put your thumbs up. Two, one and a half to two. Yeah. No, it was still good. Not the funniest one, but it was still really good. Oh, Whatever. <laughs> I think we get the point. Um, so, um, anything else you want to add on this one? Mm, we kind of only five episodes left. Wow, five to go. And pointy-haired boss is still an idiot, and I say it every <laughs> episode. What else got coming up this week? We're, 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 rear window. Terminator, 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 <laughs> and um, Judgment, or Terminator, the Judgment. Okay, remember uh -huh. Terminator Two, and then the Polar. Yep, yep, yep. So look for that. Um, and again, all the links to our social media are in the description, and our Patreon's there too. If you want to support our channel, um, subscribe and hit the bell. She hit it before I got there. She's way ahead of the game tonight. So, <laughs> definitely, we're trying to get to a thousand, y'all. So, Our next come on, song. come on. If you haven't, please, please, please help these gals out. Please help us gals out. Um, 
But with that, I think we are going to wish you a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in your part of the world. Be kind always. Until we meet again. Bye.